SES function is one of the most frequently used in RPS tests. If you plan to use RPS in the JavaScript mode or write custom functions for your testing framework, you will need to become familiar with the SES function. When you record a test in JavaScript mode, RPS generates steps that refer to UI objects using SES function and object IDs. You may also modify an existing test and add the SES function call yourself. During playback, SES function uses object ID, arrow number 1, to find object definition in the object repository, arrow number 2. Then, use an object locator from the object definition, arrow number 3. Rupees finds the object in the application. If the object was found successfully, Rupees executes the action, arrow number 4, for example clicks on the object. If the object is not found, an error is sent to the report. Let's do a simple practical task. You may stop video playback at this point to read the steps. Create a new test in Rupees. Go to main menu, file, new test, and provide the name for a new test, notepad test. Then choose desktop type of the test. And select JavaScript scripting mode. Rupees created a new test. Click record button on the toolbar. In the select an application to record dialog box, choose run application tab and type the name of the application to launch notepad.exe and then click run button. Repeat starts recording. You can see recording activity dialog box showing intercepted actions. Click close button in Notepad. Notice that close action has been recorded. Click finish button to stop recording. And reload main.js. Notice that repeat generated SES function and it uses close ID. Close is the ID of the close object that you can locate in object repository. And this object has location generated by RPS. Now you know what the SES function is.